welcome to season two of Solopreneur Success Strategies. This is Jane Gardner, and we are going to be talking about home business startup. And uh, we're going to be talking about starting, running, and growing your own home business, whether offline or on. Monday is all about mindset, of course. Tuesday is all about starting a home biz. Wednesday is about selling sales and your customer. Thursday is going to be about running your home biz, and Friday will be growing your home business. Saturday is all about putting systems in your business, and Sunday is all about strategy. So subscribe to this daily podcast to help you start, run, and grow your home biz. For more information, go to bohb.com. Welcome. Welcome, I'm Jane Gardner, and welcome to another episode of Solopreneur Success Broadcasting, Home Business Startup, etc., etc. I'm back because I'm passionate about being an entrepreneur, and I'm here, and I'm sticking to it, even though I've had many issues which have stopped me from broadcasting, but today, we're going to be talking about mindset, and how to have a successful mindset, you need to be passionate. There's probably nothing as important to achieving success as passion. It may sound extreme, but in order to reach a goal, you have to burn for it. It has to be something that's on your mind all the time. It has to be all-consuming. In fact, passion is the flip side of our previous subject we did a long time ago of hustle. The two go hand in hand with each other. If you don't hustle... Uh, you won't get anywhere. So how do they work together? Well, the one requires the other. They each, in some sense, drive the other. Finally, without one, you can't have the other. Hustling, as we discussed, is all about hard work, long hours, and the extra mile. Passion is the motivation behind it that gets all that hard work done, that keeps you up at night, that makes sure that you do what you have to do in order to move forward. Face it, if you're not on fire about a project, you're not going to be going able to motivate yourself to do the hard work needed to complete it. And to get that project successfully done, you need passion. You need to have the motivation in order to do the hustle. So how do you obtain the passion necessary for success? Well, as a business owner, you should already be passionate about your business and its success. Don't do something that you don't want to do just because you think it's going to be uh, something you can make money at quicker. I know I can avoid certain uh, uh, businesses because I don't like doing those kind of businesses. So I want to do something that I'm passionate about. And if you're not, then you need to examine why you're doing a business that you don't feel passionate about, that you don't want to think about how can I make money the next day, or how is it that I am going to be going forward in my business. If you're not doing what you love to do, then you may need to think about what you're passionate about and then get into that line of work. There's no sense and no reason to waste your time trying to be enthusiastic about something that doesn't move you. If you're already doing something you love to do, then you're halfway home. Let your love and passion for your line of work show through in that work. Your customers and your competitors will notice the difference about you being persistent, being passionate, and doing the hustle, and doing action, and getting um, your sales button up there, or getting out there and talking about your business. People will notice that you're out there being out there. So, remember... One of the reasons that you need to be successful is, of course, the hustling to get it done. But in order to get it done, you need to be passionate about it to begin with. So don't go doing something that you're not passionate about. Just Well, I hope that will give you some ideas to implement in your own business. And if you want more, go to boahb.com and subscribe.